So you watched my Voron project intro video and decided to follow along and or start your own build. Congrats. As a beginner, you may be overwhelmed by the amount of information out there. There are many parts to a 3D printer and these Vorons are built to allow tweaking over time as desired. Some estimates I have seen budget up to 40 hours or more of actual build time. Therefore, I suggest taking time to research. There are already YouTube videos that go in depth on the entire build process and this has two benefits. The first is that you have a rough idea of what you are getting yourself into and common pitfalls. Many of your questions have likely already been asked and answered. The second is that you start learning the different components and what they do. Heat set inserts, MGN 9A trails, non-resettable fuses, inductive probes. Do you know what any of these mean? I didn't. I spent about a week watching YouTube videos before I even felt comfortable proceeding. This is where having an existing 3D printer may be helpful. Even though this MakerBot clone is 10 years old, the basics have not really changed over time. It still uses stepper motors, belts, direct feed, and end stops. Having these visual references for a comparison can help as I build my Voron. It's impossible to learn quote unquote everything now, so just pick up the basics as you go. For example, the build starts out with the frame and rail assemblies, so you can use that as a starting point. I am building a 300 millimeter size printer, which is a sweet spot between the smaller 250 and larger 350. This entire video or longer could have been spent discussing the pros and cons of each size. Think of what you plan to print and overall goals. From there, you can start deciding on major components because there are many choices for hot ends, controller boards, motors, etc. You may want to consider making a list of your first, second, and third picks for each. Don't know what to buy? Well, aside from YouTube, other good resources are Discord, Reddit, Facebook, and of course, Google. Finally, for the good stuff, if you want to play around with color schemes, here is a nice website I found. It is called the 3D Printer Color Configurator, which will be linked in the description. The sky is the limit, so have fun, because the real work starts just around the corner which is sourcing parts for the bill.